Hi. So if you are anything like me, I'm sure you were discouraged at the economic forecasts at the beginning of this year, 2024. They were pretty gloomy. And with all that's going on in the world, they weren't hard to believe. It also didn't help that the latest numbers on the Canadian economy where I live were not very good. But is all that gloom being vindicated? Peter Hall, he's back again to cut through the noise and explain what the numbers are actually saying. If you're looking for some good news for Canadian exporters, you'll want to stay tuned to hear what he has to say. So enjoy this next clip. Well, hi there, everyone. We're a few weeks into the new year. We're still collecting data for the end of last year and a few new series for 2024 are starting to appear. With little data to go on for this year, are there still good clues and available data to get us on the right path? What is the latest on 2024? Well, who would even listen to forecasters? Clues or not, last year's earliest forecasts were horribly wrong. The January 2023 consensus outlook for the US economy was for 0.3% GDP growth. The most courageous forecaster in that survey called for 1.4% growth and was virtually alone. A sizable pack of pundits predicted an outright contraction. While well, I was waving 2% in front of business audiences, they and I probably wondered about my sanity. But the early numbers were on my side and it looks like 2023 is finally going to be at about 2.4%. At the same time, the collective outlook for Canada was a very similar 0.4%. Looks like we'll end up at almost triple that, although the difference with the US performance is actually quite alarming. Enter 2024 and the forecast looks just as chaotic. The December consensus survey had more than 50% of forecasters calling for a hard landing. The balance were in the soft landing camp with the exception of one courageous outlier at 2.1%. Looks like general global mayhem actually found its way into the future gazing fold. Well, fast forward to the February consensus and the average call for the year has zoomed up to 2.1% writing any kind of recession out of the numbers. That's embarrassing. It's a flip-flop from a doom and gloom outlook now to a carbon copy of last year, although much earlier in the year. So what has caused such an about face? Well, sadly, it was already in the numbers. And here's how it works. Growth for last year is an average of the four quarters of the year. But if an economy continues to grow in the latter half of the year, GDP in December is likely going to be ahead of the average for the year meaning the new year is already starting above last year's average. That's what we call built-in growth, as it will influence the current year's final official growth rate. As crazy as it might sound, we don't exactly enter the new year with a completely clean growth sheet. Well, so much for theory. What's actually going on? Well, let's start with the good news. The U.S. economy pumped out 4.9% annualized growth in the third quarter of last year, the latest estimate we have. Now, using built-in growth logic, if the U.S. saw no growth in the fourth quarter and clear through this year, they would still post 0.7% growth. So any forecast calling for just 0.7% is a pretty gloomy outlook at this point. Now, throw in a reasonable estimate of fourth quarter growth based on the data points we have, and then assume zero growth right through 2024, and you get 1% for the year. So really anything 1% or below is also pretty gloomy. That's why an average 2024 forecast in December of 1.2% growth was almost impossibly gloomy. Now, modest growth at an annual, uh, annualized rate of 1% through 2024 gets a U.S. forecast of 1.7%. Well, given that, 2% wasn't really a stretch, even though very few pundits were willing to go there. Unless interest rates really wreak havoc on the U.S. economy at some point in the very immediate future, the outlook is looking good. So are things as upbeat for Canada? Usually we are a carbon copy on the US growth email, but it wasn't so last year and momentum suggests a sad repeat in 2024. Monthly GDP growth sagged in the closing months of 2023, giving little to no momentum heading into this year. The consensus forecast of just 0.5% could actually end up being on the high side. It looks very much like a forecast title redux. Last year, my Outlook moniker was a tale of two economies. This is cropping up in others' Outlook documents for 2024, 
and aptly characterizes the two very different momentum stories underway on each side of the border. Here's the deal. Canada is weak, not just in the numbers, but in fundamental growth potential for this year. It be, will be weakest on the domestic side of the economy. Stronger U.S. growth will help Canadian exporters to bypass the bad news and outperform the rest of our economy. That should be great early year news for the FIT community. Well, I'll have more to say in my upcoming forecast interview with FIT CEO Caroline Tompkins, where we will deal with the big issues in the global forecast and give a world outlook that we hope will be useful as a guide to your business plans for this year and next. See you soon.